So I put together some um, some texts, um, and during this quarantine, I've been reading uh, the Islamic wine poetry of Abu Nawas. I'm gonna put it closer to the Facebook screen first, and then to the Instagram screen. <laughs> Good luck with the awkwardness. Thank you, Marine. Hi, Aline. Um, and this book was actually given to me by Aline um, and her sister Shag. And the beauty of the beautiful thing about this book is that it reminds us to reconnect with drinking culture in the Arab world um, and in the Islamic world. The drinking culture during the Abbasi period um, that was infused with poetry. Um, and it's crazy because they had whole events. They even had drag king events, like women dressed up as men during some of their <laughs> events, their poetry gatherings. So it's a book by Alex Rowell, and it's been a great inspiration for me. So enough, خلاص خلاص تحكي فراغ. تمام. Let's start. This one's called Dictator. I will love you more when the world is burning. I will mourn as you moan at the back of my neck. I will kiss you more and touch you more. Let your tongue Remind me of the wetness and drowning of many beautiful things. It is somewhat unfortunate how much love reminds me of death, how much I am unable to let go, never sure what comes next. Where do these bodies go when the lights go off? When cities are falling like corpses, I will hold on to your body, bury my nails into your body, bury my nails into your back, dig up whatever I can find because I know we are not separate. We are the echoes of those looking for love and our inner dictators are always trying to burn us. <sighs> So I have chosen some texts that have been relevant um, to the state I've been in during quarantine, uh, not going out anymore, not socializing as much. What does that mean? Um, and I have been dealing with some um, unresolved questions and feelings. Um, the next one is in Arabic. And it's always difficult to recite this one. Uh, and I will dedicate it to all our parents, mothers and fathers, who hurt us sometimes without knowing, unknowingly, and especially to our fathers, uh, who really suck <laughs> at connecting with how they feel. And this makes them lose touch with themselves and this makes them act foolishly. This one is called Yawa. Qulli mada turid alaytni. Laytni baqta habl alwarid laytak ma ijaytni. بر الوالدين مش دين علي بدك ياني أبرك على طريقتك وبنفس الوقت بدك ياني أوقف على رجلي بس بقى تقولي الجنة تعد تحت أقدام الأباء يعني أخرتها بنحني يي لا ما يمكن صدري يبين ما أنت تبع العار والعرض تبع الحجاب والفرد مش طلقت أمي عشانها رفضت تتحجب وحجبت أختي بالغصب 
وبتفتخر انك بزماناتك كنت نسونجي يعني يا لك ما انت درسنا باحسن جامعات عشان نواجه رجال اللي امثالك الموضوع يابا على الوجع مش بس نوم ما انا بفكر فيك دايما خصوصا قبل النوم الموضوع بسيط علاقتي مع الله إلي انت ما خصك فيني انا طالبة اب مش رجل دين ولا كان جبته شيخي ربيني زي فصل الدين عن الدولة مش زابطة معك حبني يابا وانا بوقف معك حبني يابا من غير ادعية صباح ومساء بفضل تبعت لي فيروز شي ما بينتسى This is a very short poem called Excel Sheet and I really hate Excel Sheets because they are synonymous with finding a job and usually in my head um, they are linked to money um, and very serious jobs. So this one is a short one called Excel Sheets. These Excel Sheets are made out of metal bars. Hey, Allah. These are not just numbers. This is what everything comes down to. This is what you wake up for. These fucking numbers that someone else is waiting for. This is what you wake up for. They are even called cells. Bam! Ay wallah. Ay wallah, la ra wallah ba'arif, wallah This is in Arabic um, and it's called la shay and it is about taking a step back and trying, trying to connect with love, the feeling of love, the idea of love, and love on a macro scale, not, you know, romantic love, but love as a big, bigger concept. I swear, I have it, this swear. <laughs> قد يعتبرونه جبنا أو خمولا لكننا نفضل ألا نبقى كثيرا بينهم نحبهم ولكننا نحسد الغيوم نريد أن نطفو نحن أيضا فوق كل هذه المجازر لم نعد نحتمل هذا الثقل فمجزرة صغيرة تحدث في صدورنا كل يوم فنحن نؤمن بأثر الفراشة كلنا هنا الحالم والكاتب والنائم والعالم والظالم والعادل والتي وجدت نفسها والذي أضاع نفسه والأم والأب والأخت والأخ كلنا هنا ونخشى أن نموت قهرا من شدة الأمل آه شكرا The next one is uh, pink. <laughs> it's the one color coded in pink. Um, sometimes, now moving on to a more personal conception of love, sometimes we love people and our love to them looks like a city or a country. This crossed my mind in one of my relationships and Loving you is like Lebanon. It has the sea, the mountains, the cedars, religions, sects, West and East Beirut, Syrians, Palestinians, Haifa-born Lebanese claimed Phoenicians, Lebanese-speaking Egyptians, happy new age hippies in Chouane and uptight shoppers in the Solidaire. Balconies overlooking Hamra and old houses made into tobacco stores. Garbage forgotten in streets and rain attempting to cleanse the city yet failing. The view from Beit Miri and the Menaish from Imjan's tiny kiosk. I love you, four million in me and 14 more outside of me. 
the dedication in this book. So I really recommend this book. I will. I'm not um, the Islamic wine poetry of Abu Nawaz, vintage humor. The just. I'm going to read the dedication real quick. Um, to the writers, drinkers, and free thinkers of the Arab and Islamic worlds, long may they live. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful book. Thank you. So, uh, the next one is green. There it is. It's green. Um, we all have a concept of God, maybe, most of us. and. It's important to think about this concept philosophically, and this poem is about that somehow. God, in an effort to change the image of the God in my head, I began reading children's books. You may say, it's a shame that you still struggle with an image of a god in the first place, with a capital G. But all these years of male-dominated worship have taken a toll on my imagination. It seems that my god is adamant about being a bearded man. Some angelic sheikh who does discreet charity work. He is very kind, don't get me wrong always surrounded by a white light that blurs his features with a capital H. When I speak to him, he often nods his head and lends me a helping hand. I thank him before going to bed. Recently, I've been trying to change God's gender. To start with, he is slowly turning into a housewife in her late 40s, cooking the world like Mluhi. As a second step, I felt like changing her species, now a female sloth who has taken her time to create the universe and who has been resting upside down ever since. Or to an incognito caterpillar who slowly metamorphoses into all my wishes and then flutters when hearing my prayers. You get my point. That's the one. Some of us, many of us may know um, the poem by Mahmoud Darwish called um, Rita. Uh, the poem that was sung by Marcel Khalifa. بين ريتا وعيوني بندقية والذي يعرف ريتا ينحني ويصلي لإله في العيون للعسلية. This poem, this little poem, is written for Rita, trying to imagine what it really feels like to tell someone between you and me, between Rita and me, a rifle. That's what the line says. Not me, but between Rita and my eyes, a rifle. Rita. لو كنت عيوني لما كانت البندقية وقفت بيننا لكنا قد حدقنا في فوهتها معا إلى أن يذوب الرصاص آه ريتا ليت الجروح قصاص أنا اخترتك دون شعبك المختار اخترتك بردا وسلاما أمام ظلم النار آه ريتا حصروا صدورنا فكان الشعر أجدر في فك الحصار كيف نواجه البندقية وقد رفعوا بها الأعلام كيف نواجه البندقية وقد زرعوا في جسمها أوهام شعبين حائط بين نهدين مولود يجند يلثم وهو بين فخدين فترحب صرخته بإحدى اللغتين فترحب صرخته مبني للمجهول فترحب صرخته بإحدى اللغتين فسلام شلوم عليك أيها المولود ليتك تعود إلى الرحم 
I will end with a love poem. Um, the, the poem I actually sent to Ruba Shamshum, who will be singing right after this live, both on Facebook and Instagram with the Toronto Palestine Film Festival. So Ruba and I worked on a show in London called uh, Mai Udai, Water and Light. And she sang this piece. And when I heard it, it was one of the most beautiful things in the world to me, because to hear your words being sung by a beautiful artist is somehow, it's heartwarming, right? Um, and we called it Manara together, lighthouse, because love and the loved ones in our lives are lighthouses that guide us. And we are boats, you know, blah, blah, right? We are. <laughs> Just a beautiful image and, and I love it. <laughs> and it's Manara. Hey, bil Arabi. It's in Arabic and it's in um, Levantine Arabic, Palestinian Arabic. And I will end on this poem. Tamam. خلينا هيك سوا خلينا أجمل من حالنا لحالنا مهما كبرنا من ضل نخاف من خيالنا خلينا نكون زي طيورك على الشجر نغني أول ما يطلع الفجر خلينا زي المي والنار والهوى ما بدنا نتعلم دروس وما بدنا نشوف كابوس عشان نعرف طعم الحلم خلينا نحن الحلم من خاف من الحرب خلينا نحن السلم خلينا هيك سوا أجمل من حالنا لحالنا مهما كبرنا من ضل أولاد صغار خلينا أكبر من اللي صار خلينا نطير ونصير زي الأمر غيمة نجمة موجة في البحر غصن خجول بميل مع البحر خلينا هيك سوا أجمل من حالنا لحالنا مهما كبرنا من ضل نخاف من خيالنا خلينا نحن النور ثابتين لو الأرض بتدور آمين شكراً لإلكم كثير